Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you for being here. Again, I'm, uh, my name is uh, Brian Peters, the uh, police chief here in Portsmouth. Uh, with me is uh, Major Michael Morse, the uh, deputy chief of police. Captain uh, John Cahoon, in charge of the administrative division, including detectives. Uh, Captain Ruiz, who's in charge of the patrol division, as well as Detective Lieutenant uh, Lee Trott. So the two separate incidents uh, that I'm here today to inform you on, uh, the first being a homicide that occurred at a residence on West Main Road, and the second being a fatal motor vehicle crash that occurred on Indian Avenue. Both incidents occurred yesterday uh, evening during the same uh, time period, but are not related. I will speak on the homicide incident first and answer what questions I can, and then speak about the uh, motor vehicle uh, crash. On May 22nd, 2023 at approximately 4.32 p.m., the Tiverton Police Department contacted the Portsmouth Police Department and requested that our department check the well-being of Mr. Shui Fang Wu. Mr. Wu had left his residence in Tiverton to check on his rental property located at 1722 West Main Road earlier in the day and had not been heard from since. Portsmouth Police officers responded to the residence and spoke with Mr. Jacob Morrill the tenant of 1722 West Main Road. Morrill provided information to the responding officers that Mr. Wu had been at the residence earlier in that day and then left to go to court in Providence. Officers cleared the scene and had no further information at that time. At approximately 6 p.m., the Portsmouth Police Department was contacted and advised by the caller that they had information pertaining to a crime at 1722 West Main Road. Officers responded again to 1722 West Main Road to investigate. Ten minutes later, at approximately 6.10 p.m., Jacob Morrill contacted our department and stated to the desk officer that he had struck and killed Mr. Wu. Morrill informed the desk officer that he would meet police behind the mobile gas station at 1568 West Main Road. At that location, officers located Morrill, and he was subsequently detained. Morrill provided information to the officers regarding the incident and advised officers of the crime and the location of the body of the victim. Officers located the body of the victim down a pathway in the rare wooded area behind 1722 West Main Road. The body had been wrapped in a tarp and held down in place by a section of wire fencing and other objects in the area of brush off the pathway. Officers were able to confirm that the victim was deceased and observed that he had apparent severe injuries to his head. The victim is being identified as Mr. Shua Fang Wu. The Portsmouth Police Detective Division responded and subsequently began an investigation uh, into the incident. The investigation revealed that a confrontation had occurred between the suspect and Mr. Wu inside a garage on the property. During that confrontation, Mr. Wu was struck in the head and killed by the suspect with a small handheld axe. The suspect then moved the body of Mr. Wu to an area of brush where he had been located by the first responding officers. After executing court authorized search warrants, the detective vision was able to recover numerous items of evidentiary value, including the suspected weapon used to kill the victim. The suspect, Jacob Morrill, is a 24 year old male from Portsmouth, Rhode Island. He was charged with first-degree murder and arraigned in Newport County District Court earlier today on the charge. Mr. Wu's next of kin has been notified and we remain in contact with his family. The Portsmouth Police Department wishes to extend our sincere condolences to Mr. Wu's family for their tragic loss. I will now try to answer any questions uh, that you may have. It seems like a shocking crime. It is. Um, it's definitely uh, something that uh, we haven't had an incident like this uh, since uh, for a few years now. Um, so it definitely is a, uh, a shock uh, when we see that here in Portsmouth. Court records show that the two were supposed to appear in court yesterday. Is this over him trying to evict the suspect? We don't have that information. I know there is a landlord-tenant relationship, but we don't have anything in regards to that case. So you don't know why this happened at this point? No, we're not going to speculate as to motive at this time. Mr. Mr. Morrill contacted the police. Did he call them by phone? He did. And the, the search warrant that you obtained pertained to his 
uh, apartments or homes? Correct, that's 1722 and residents and property. That's, is that where you recovered the weapon? Correct, it was recovered on the scene of the property. Of the property. And how far is that in relation to where the body was found? Uh, I'd say it's uh, probably a, a couple hundred feet. So it's close. It's close, it's located on the same property. The body was located and found on the same property, just in uh, down a pathway off of the property. And he led you there? Your officer? Not physically let us there, but told us where it would be. Gave you, a description. You mentioned that, so I, don't, I don't know if you were getting at this, Steve, but were there two different people that called police? Correct. Okay. Who was the first person? Was it someone in the home? It was an individual in the home that gave us, uh, provided, wanted to provide information. They didn't say anything, anything descriptive on the phone. That's where officers are going down to investigate further. And before the officers had arrived on scene, we had uh, received a call from Mr. Murray. Was that another tenant of the home? Uh, by tenant, you mean like a second second person, or it's a, it's a one individual uh, residence, I guess you could say. So Is it it's a relative of Mr. Murray. Uh, I'm not going to get into the uh, identity of the actual person, but they live together. He uh, is a male, female. Um, there is a male and a female both that live there. And was he contrite when he spoke to police about this? Uh, I'm not going to get into his uh, demeanor uh, at the time. I think we'll uh, save that for, for the prosecution. Was animal control also? Any indication why he called? Uh, I believe he called that he wanted to uh, inform uh, the department of what he did. But did he know that you were on the way? He did. He waited in a uh, place while the officer, until the officers got there. So he, no, he, but I mean, did he, did he, do you think he called because he knew you were I don't know. I don't know that. Okay. I don't know if he was aware of uh, the other phone call. See, David, uh, I understand it's not appropriate for the department to speculate about motive whatsoever, but I'm wondering if Mr. Morello in any way uh, referenced or explicitly mentioned uh, the fact that he had a, an eviction court date with, uh, with the victim uh, in, in any court appearance or interview with you. Yeah, we're not going to get into the uh, motive and what he said during the conversation with the police. I think we're going to save that for the prosecution. But I can say that it is a uh, tenant and landlord relationship between the two. We saw our crew saw animal control was on the scene last night. Can you talk about that? Sure. So there was animals uh, located inside the residence. Uh, and before our detectives could get in to search the property, we had to secure those animals and remove them from the residence. What kind of animals? Uh, there was uh, two dogs. I believe it was cats. I believe it was ferrets uh, mm -hmm. on the property as well. That we mistreated secured. or anything? I'm sorry? Mistreated or anything? No. No, no, there's no indication of that. Does uh, Maril have any former uh, issues with the department? Has he been on your radar? Has he been arrested before? Uh, we have no other prior uh, interactions with him. Uh, his arrest record uh, did reveal uh, two uh, prior suspended license charges out of Massachusetts, but no uh, violent crimes. Not sure if he's I don't have that information off the top of my head. I'm not sure if you said this, but do you know who was concerned about the well-being or whereabouts of Mr. Wu? Who called in? Originally from the Tiverton Police Department, there was a relative who contacted the Tiverton Police Department concerned about his well-being, that they hadn't seen him or heard from him since earlier in the day. Earlier in the day, and uh, I'm not sure if it said this, but do you know or do you think you know when the, the confrontation happened? Uh, we don't know. We're going to leave that up to the medical examiner to uh, determine the uh, time and cause of death. Did the caller who called on behalf of uh, Mr. Wu or his family member indicate to the Tiverton Police Department that Mr. Wu would be going to 1722 West Main? Is that why the police did the wellness check? Uh, Correct. That was the indication that he was, that was one of the places that he was going to be going uh, earlier in that day. So Tiverton contacted us and requested that we go check that property. Did they indicate why Mr. Wu was, was uh, stopping in on his uh, tenant property? I don't have that information. Thank you. Is it reasonable to say, though, that the victim was going to court in Providence to see the suspect? Uh, I don't have any information in reference to that court. We'll have to look into more in that detail as far as that court date uh, that you're referring to. Court, by the way, not for what it's worth. The eviction date was scheduled in Providence, and Judge Hastings dismissed because neither of them appeared. So obviously, they were not. But they were going to court in Providence. No. Newport. They were going to court in Newport. In the paper, that's what was uh, informed to us. Do we have any idea how long the struggle lasted? Uh, we don't at this time, so we'll uh, wait to see what the medical examiner comes up with for the time of death. When was the last homicide in Portland? Uh, I believe it was uh, 2016. Yeah. Is that correct? 
Um, what else were, can you say that police were able to see from the home or the area near the crime? Were you able to uh, see some murder weapons? We did. Uh, so we did what we believed to be uh, the weapon uh, used in the assault and um, or the homicide. And uh, I'm not going to get into the other uh, evidence that was seized, but we do have uh, what we believe to be the murder weapon. Is it a lengthy list? Like, if we were to see the search and seizure return to court, would that be a long list of uh, evidence? Uh, I believe, uh, you know, I mean, it's, I, I wouldn't say it's in the hundreds, but there is, uh, you know, dozens of uh, evidence that we seized. Is it common for the Portland police to see incidents or even violent incidents take place between tenants and landlords, or, or is it <coughs> Uh, it's somewhat unusual for the, it to go to uh, this uh, this degree.